Okay, so let's begin, guys. So we are going to solve an, another string question. So this string question simply says that given two non-negative numbers n1 and n2 represented as strings, return the sum of both of them. So what does that mean graphically? So let's say we have 999 as a string plus one to get back a thousand. Three, five, give you eight. 99 plus 99 should give you 198. So I'm assuming the first thing anyone is thinking about is I can just use pass int and pass it. Well, let's look at the conditions. Both numbers contains only digits, zero through nine, no leading zeros. And the third one is the most important one. You cannot convert the inputs to integers directly. And you cannot use any built-in big integer library. So they want you to do this the old fashioned school way. So you can't just pass int. So the first thing that comes to my mind, if I cannot take the whole thing and pass in this, then I need to break it down into individual terms and then pass in that. So that should tell me I need a loop. I need a loop that's gonna go through each one of these numbers. It's gonna go through this nine, this nine, this nine, and add this nine to this one. So let's, so let's just go through the thought process. So I'm gonna say this nine here, I'm gonna use a loop to get access to this, the last nine, add that to this one, that'll give me 10. Nine plus one is 10. Now I'm not gonna put the 10 here, I'm gonna put the, the zero from the 10, I'm gonna put it here. And then that one, I'm gonna carry it over to the next iteration. So I'm gonna say nine plus, uh oh, there's no other number because we're out of numbers here. So we need a default case when there is no other number, we're gonna use zero. So if there's no any other numbers, we use a zero. So nine plus zero plus the carry over one that we carried over will give me another 10. So I'll put the zero here, carry another one. Then go to the last nine. Nine plus zero, because there's no more numbers, plus the carry over one will give me another 10, put the zero here, and then carry it over one. So I'm, I'm done with this loop, I'm done with this loop, but I still have a carry over one. Then outside of the loop, I'll ask myself a question. I'll say, if carry over exists, just append whatever that carry over is, whatever it is, just append it in front of the, the results. That's it. That's my algorithm. So let's try it out. So the first thing I want to do is I need to get the length of, of my values. So I'll say let L1 equals num1.length and let L2 equals num2.length minus one, both, because count, counting starts from zero in JavaScript. In most languages, it starts from zero, it doesn't start from one. So the length of this is three, but we count from zero, so zero, one, two. So by default, it's gonna be two, right, beautiful. So now I'm gonna do a while loop. While L1 is greater or equal to zero, or L2 is greater or equal to zero. So that, so am I doing all equal to zero? Or I'm greater or equal to zero. The reason is this, we're gonna, our, cur our iteration will start with the last number, zero, one, two. Then it's gonna decrease to one. Then it's gonna decrease to zero. So we have, so we need to get the zero term. That's why. And so the next thing I wanna do is I need to create my, um, my access. So I'm gonna call X will be for num1. num1, L1, and Y will be num2, L2. Now, remember I said earlier that, what about if we run out of numbers? The length of this is one, the length of this is three. So if there is no more numbers, so if I do nine, this last nine plus one is 10. But on my next iteration, nine plus what number am I using here? So we need, we need a default value. So that default value would be all zero, all zero. That's that default value. Now I need to do, I need to uh, create my sum. So I'll say let sum equals zero and let carry over. We need a carry over equals zero. And then something for our results. So carry over is, is remember nine plus one is 10. We'll add the zero here and we'll carry the one. So let's do our sum. Sum 
equals pass int. Now we can pass in because we're not doing the whole thing. We're doing individual x plus pass int y plus the carry over term. There we go. So in this case, let's see what our sum is going to give us. So nine plus one plus the carry over. Carry over is zero. We initialize it as zero. So nine plus one plus zero will give you 10. So it will give you 10, but we don't want the 10. We want the, we want the zero. We don't want the 10, we want the zero. So how do we do that? So we can say results equals sum plus uh, rest. But remember, sum is 10. We don't want that 10, we want the zero. So we'll say mod 10. So mod means remainder. So sum, uh, so 10 remainder 10 is zero. So zero plus rest is zero. So it'll give you zero, so that works. Now there's still one more thing missing. How, well, there's two more things missing. One is we need to decrease our, our values. So our loop can continue. The final thing is our carry over term. How do we update the value of carry over? It's zero, but then how do we carry that one? Remember I said sum is 10, but I need to make sure carry, I need to carry one over. So how do I get that one from the 10? Or if it's 15, how do I get that one from the 15? So the JavaScript has something called truncate. So math that trunk. So we do sum divided by 10. I'm gonna explain how this works. So if sum here is 10, 10 divided by 10 is one. So by default, the carryover will be one. Anything less than 10, nine or eight or seven, the carryover is zero. Anything higher than 10, say 15, 15 divided by 10, 1.5, that the 0.5 gets, we're getting rid of it. And then it will just give you that one. It works like magic. So now we have a carryover. So, and the final thing outside of the loop, we need to check if we have any carryover term. If we do, just add it over to the result. Result equals carryover plus rest. And then we return, and then we return our uh, template string, our rest as a string. Done. So this should work. So let's see. Yep. I've set up this. This should give you. 108, this should give you 1,000, this should give you eight, and this should give you 198. So let's, so let's test it out. Get my compiler. Make sure I have the correct things. Okay, clear it. Node index. Beautiful. 108, 1,000, eight, and 98. I think, I, I think that's about it. Thank you guys.